This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Xterra. It is a 2009 Nissan Xterra four-wheel drive. It's an SE, which is leather. Um, has 89,827 actual miles. <laughs> it was a theft recovery purchased from an insurance company in Rancho Cucamonga, uh, California, which is a nice area of LA. Um, it is on a clear title, does have low miles, really nice rig. We bring it here, we do an inspection. My guys hand me this. Awesome SUV, runs and drives and looks great, low miles. What else? What do we do to it? Uh, we gave it a detail and we replaced the grill and the trim under the grill because the previous owner liked black spray paint. Ugly. Um, I, it might have been the, the car thief trying to hide it also. Um, make it look differently. Probably why Carfax reported damage uh, front and rear because the uh, spray can damage was to the front and rear. Um, we see zero evidence of any body or paint damage, which is really obvious that it hasn't been wrecked or hurt or anything. But uh, so just so you know, this is what we put. This piece right here is new and this piece is new. This is what came off it. And I don't know if you can tell how bad that is, that paintwork is, but I guess that the insurance company would call that damage. They weren't broken. They just painted them <laughs> and it looks like crap. So that looks a lot better. The rear bumper is metal and it's more expensive and a lot more work. So that'll be up to you. There's a couple little, little ding right here on the hood. But uh, I think that's pretty much all the, uh, everything that I've seen on this thing. I think that's about it. He painted the wheels. You can see how silver here underneath it, but I don't, I don't, I don't think they look bad. I think you just touch them up a little bit or spend a couple hours with some paint thinner and take it off. It kind of depends on what you want to do. I think it'd be easier just to fix the wheels, keep them painted once in a while, and take the uh, paint off the rear bumper. That would be pretty easy because it's a flat surface. But we're going to leave that up to the next guy. Uh, the previous owner definitely put brand new uh, tires on it very recently, probably about $1,000 worth of Grabber Generals. Probably 80 or 90% tread. Uh, the purpose of these videos is not to sell this vehicle. It's to make sure that the person who buys it knows what they're buying, um, is well informed, knows what we know. There's no secrets. I mean, look at this thing. So this is what's painted. This was silver and they painted it. So you can see a little scratch here on this. That's what it looks like underneath it. So if I were the owner, I keep the wheels black, just touch up the wheels and I take that off. Cause I think that looks like crap, but you could just black it out again. That would even be easier than taking it off. Probably take you about 30 minutes to take it off. Probably about two seconds to paint it again. So it's up to you. Um, let's see. Here's the Kelly Blue Book on the uh, Xterra. Uh, 09 SE four-door with 89,827 miles. Typical listing price would be 9262 with a range of 7579 to 9944. That number seems low to me. That's a lot of car here. A lot of car. I'm very impressed with this car. Um, here's the Carfax. History and events affecting this vehicle's value. They blend the Carfax and the history and they come up with a, Carfax says it's worth $9,630. Total loss, that's theft. That has nothing to do with the title. It's never had a salvage title. I'll show you why, I'll show you the explanation Carfax gives for this in a second, but it's an insurance term. Damage, uh, previous owner with a spray paint, I've already explained that. Uh, I did this Carfax uh, just now, 10, 16 of 19, about 10 minutes ago. There's the VIN, right? All right, the VIN is not helping at all. So gotta have quick hands here. Laguna Niguel, big shot area there. Huh? County, blah, 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 good services. Stadium Nissan, Orange County. This guy had some good taste in neighborhoods. Probably why it looks so good. I'll bet the car thief did that. It's a lot different looking when it's got silver wheel, or I mean black wheels instead of silver when all the silver's gone. So they said report, damage reported to front and rear, basically. And so it's got to be that. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Here's the explanation. Total loss. Insurance or fleet company declares a vehicle total loss 
when claim exceeds approximately 75% of its pre-damage value or if the vehicle is stolen and not recovered. So that's what happens, okay? Um, that's why. All right, here's the uh, title. This is a clear California title. There's the VIN. IDS Property Casualty was the insurance company. This title was issued to them 914 of 19, like about a month ago, and had 89,827 miles. They sold it to Wheel Kinetics 10 8 of 19. There you go. And it took about a couple days to get shipped here. And now here it is. Boom. There's a cover, little cargo area, extra stuff to put in there. Ba 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 ba. Really pretty rig. There are people out there who are way into Xterras. I mean, look at how straight that car is. That is beautiful. Boom. Yep. You don't need tires for a long time either. All right, let me fire this guy up. And we'll go under the hood. Eight, and the mileage on it now is 89,839 miles, okay? So let's go. Let's see, where's the hood release on this? There it is right there. And this probably needs a hood prop, which is be my head. Yep. There's the hood prop. It's not easy to do one-handed, by the way. So, there's your uh, VIN on the uh, fender, so you know that's an original fender. Okay, <laughs> so you could tell when he was playing with the paint, he liked to play, I think it was the owner who did it. And there's another uh, VIN stamp there. So he just went hog wild with the paint. As you can see overspray back here. Uh, here's the VIN on the hood. So the hood and the fenders are all original. Stamps where they belong. You always want to see all those VINs because then you know nothing was replaced up front. All right, Let's see if I can do the hood drop here. There we go. Without using my head. There, see? Pretty talented guy, huh? Well, not really, but there's the window up and down. Door locks. See that? All right. Leather seats look in good shape. Got some nice weather tech deals down the floor. Nothing under there. Boom, boom, boom. Here's an auxiliary plug for the radio. Power. Another power here. Headliner looks great. You always want to go down here on the doors and look underneath, make sure there's no rust. There's another VIN sticker there. That's where that belongs. Should be another one here. That's where that goes, right there. This thing's pretty. You can tell it came from California. So if you want to do the seats, you do this. And then you pull on this thing right here. Boom. There's that, right? Let's see. Window. There's the bid stamp on the door. Seats look great. This thing looks like it's got 20,000 miles on it. Boom. There. There you go, just like that. All right, then you go here. Here's the other VIN on the door, on the driver door. This thing's sweet. It's the uh, federal sticker where it belongs, tire sticker where it belongs. Window, 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 door locks. There's that, let's see. Mirrors, let's see. In, out, up, and down. 
other side, out, in, up, and down. That works fine. Look at the seats, man. They're in great shape. I love this car. Let's see. It should have a... There's a tilt wheel thing right here, right? That worked. I think the previous owner of this thing did a great job. Really nice job. All right, let me get a seat belt on. Seat belt is on. I can tell you the air conditioning is blowing ice cold right now. Let's see, let's switch it around, turn the fan down. Radio. station change using the steering controls that works fine Rockford Fosgate system so it's got premium sound let's see the slip control see it right here off and on let's see what else we got going on here all right let me put it in a neutral and go to let's see you got to push it to go to four low you got to push and then it goes to four low right there now VDC comes off it's in four low right here. Put it in drive. Our gate sensor is over here now. So I have to kind of drive over here and reverse in four low. Perfect. All right. Now we go to neutral. Now we're going to go push. We're going to go to four high. VDC goes back on. It's still in four wheel drive. See the four wheels lit up. And drive. This is in four high in for high and reverse. That is a nice car. This would be a great daily driver for me. Neutral, boom, two wheel drive. See how it's blinking? Boom, good to go. All right. Let's go for a ride in a nice car. It's a really nice car. Um, all right, if you come to Tucson to drive this thing home, you'll have a really nice rig, first of all. Um, but you will pay the following. You will pay whatever your state tax rate is, plus our city of 2.6% and the $250 dock fee. If you're gonna pay by wire and ship this thing out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. There'll be no dock fee, no taxes, nothing. Okay. If you are going to pay by wire and ship out of state once we receive full payment, we will fill out the title with your name um, or your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you. We will scan it in your online file and we will mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. Um, obviously, you'll have the vehicle shipped to you and once the uh, vehicle shows up, you'll take the title you already have in the mail and go get plates. It's simple. Uh, deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we'll put your name and a banner over the vehicle and uh, everyone will know it's yours. Until then, it will stay for sale, okay? Um, so please make sure you get your deposit in. Really nice cars like this, this clean, low miles, SUVs, four wheel drives, leather. This is not gonna last long. So make sure you get it in quickly. Uh, the deposit in so you're locked in. Uh, what else? Last part of every video, I say the same thing. I encourage you to verify that. I am not singling this vehicle out. I love this thing. I would put my mom in it in a heartbeat. Um, but I have to say this. We don't have salesmen, so we don't have to pay them. That's not in the price of the vehicle. We don't have uh, a beautiful zip code like they do at the auto mall, which is a mile away from us. So we don't have to pay that property price. All right, you saw where we I just came from, right? So you're not paying for property, you're not paying salesmen, you're not paying for a lounge with a latte machine and game room for the kids and the whole bit. They got that at the Auto Mall too. Trust me, that's in the price of every vehicle you buy. Um, we also know that when you go to the Auto Mall and buy this vehicle at the Auto Mall, uh, if something breaks on it, you're gonna bring it back there and say fix it. And they're going to. That's in the price too. So you're paying for repairs, salesmen, lattes, and location when you go to the Auto Mall. Uh, you're paying for none of those, uh, including repairs. The day you own this vehicle is the day you're the owner and we are not fixing a thing. We're not writing you a check. We're not discussing it, nothing, okay? Um, 
that's the only way we can uh, do this with four people and you know right now we have 50 or so vehicles online another 20 or 30 we're dealing with right now Brent buying and moving around uh, we can't do it unless we do it that way all right so we're brutally honest we tell you what's wrong we tell you everything you need to know uh, so that you can make a good decision to be the owner um, like I said this vehicle I would definitely sell to my mom and she's loaded and she would know a bad car from a good car and she would love this car <laughs> this is a nice rig very tight these roads are terrible I don't know if you can see all the potholes but uh, if this was a bad car a rattle trap it would be rattling like crazy because this road sucks um, beautiful car anyway uh, yeah if you're looking for a nice little daily driver or a family mover or you know, great, would be an awesome first car for a teenager. Safe and runs great, and doesn't eat anything. Um, this would be it. And I think that's about it. Uh, thank you for your time, guys.